Hey everyone, this week's video is getting into how to improve low back pain with the use of core strengthening with special emphasis upon the dead bug exercise. I'll be covering three different variations that can easily be performed in the home, gym, or office to better manage your low back pain. I hope you find great value in the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for more informational videos about PT and to learn how they can improve your life. All right, so there are a number of different ways that we can use the dead bug exercise in terms of the way that we perform it as well as use it for rehabilitation. What many people don't realize about low back pain is the primary way that we can address this issue is by strengthening muscles of the core. The dead bug is a great choice because there are different levels and even those who are in a higher level of pain can start with level one and progress as tolerated to levels two and three to get a further improvement in their core strength. The other way that we can use the dead bug is to perform it prior to the performance of higher level weighted exercises such as squats or deadlifts. In this way, we can use it as a warm up to help to stabilize the core in a better way and prevent issues to the low back as well as preserve the health of the spine for a longer period of time. So if you're performing it for low back pain management, I'd recommend performing it frequently throughout the day. If you're using it in a gym environment, I'd recommend performing it just prior to the performance of those higher level exercises as a way to warm up your core. So there are three different variations of the dead bug exercise. The first is called isometric dead bugs. To do this, we want to lay on a firm surface, such as the floor, and then raise our hips and knees into a 90 degree angle. Following this, we want to apply pressure with the palms of our hands just above the knees down towards our feet while we keep our chin tucked and our back flat against the floor. We want to hold for 10 second contractions. Keep breathing during the exercise. And do not let pain go above a five out of 10. If pain goes past the five, just ease off on how hard you're pushing. In between each contraction, I recommend coming down, just relaxing and recovering for five to 10 seconds. Then again, knees and hips up to 90, shin tucked, hands above the knees, flying down at a moderate intensity for 10 seconds. And remember to keep breathing. This is great to perform throughout the day while at the home or office, as well as a great warm up before the performance of a higher level core stability exercise. It should work for high level low back pain and it's easy to perform, so a great choice. So the second variation, instead of keeping the hips and knees at 90 degrees, you want to bring the legs down. Bring your chin forward and to tuck it, just like I was talking about in the last one, and keep your back flat against the floor. Then bring your shoulders up to 90 degrees directly above you, and then you're alternating arm and leg. For example, left leg and right arm, reaching down and back. Moving slowly and with control, Again, with special emphasis upon keeping your chin tucked and your low back flat against the firm surface that you're using. I'd recommend sets of 10 to 20 repetitions as tolerated, not allowing pain to go past a five out of 10 or lingering greater than a minute when you stop the exercise. If it does, just go back to the easier variation, level one. If 
The final variation for today is to keep the hips and knees at 90 degrees, shoulders at 90 degrees as well, then bring the head forward, keeping the low back flat, and then again your alternating sides, reaching. Really trying to keep that chin tucked. Hips and knees at 90. Continue to breathe. So this video has been all about how do we use core strengthening and especially the dead bug exercise to prevent, lessen, and overcome low back pain. But there are so many different topics I could post about. It really just depends on what you guys would like to see. So be sure to post your comments below and subscribe so I can do my best to create a meaningful video for you or a loved one to improve quality of life. This is Dr. John Mayo, really hoping that this video has been helpful for you or a loved one and improves your life.